things sell out at the Lee County Civic Center except WWF. WWF. Yeah, yeah that's right. Jay Severson has worked himself up into a sweating frenzy, and we'll have that live <laughs> report in just a moment. But first, look for either Sam Weiss or Buddy Ryan to be tabbed. The next Tampa Bay Bucks head coach, it certainly will not be Bill Parcells. After meeting with owner Hugh Culverhouse today at an undisclosed site near Washington, D.C., Mr. C. stated that Parcells is no longer in the running for the job, a job on a silver platter he originally turned down less than two weeks ago. Well, the Rams coaching search over, as expected. Chuck Knox returns to the job he was fired from in 1977. The 59-year-old Knox recently parted ways with the Seattle Seahawks. Elsewhere, Stanford University head coach Dennis Green has taken himself out of consideration for the Pittsburgh Steelers job. Green's reportedly still interested in the Vikings post. And according to a report out west, Bill Walsh is expected to rejoin the 49ers as a consultant as early as Friday. NBA hoops, world champs in Miami. Certainly not child's play, but pretty nice hoop there. Ronnie Cycli in low. He scores two, and the Heat looking good early. End of the first half. Michael Jordan, he hits it at the buzzer. 64-61 Heat at halftime. Glenn Rice, a team high 33. Two here on the drive. Heat up by one after three, but down the stretch. Michael Jordan. A team high 40, the final, 108, 106. Chicago has always beaten Miami. The Heat have never beaten Chicago in franchise history. 99-95, Boston a winner at home versus New York. New Jersey over Minnesota. Philadelphia at the spectrum, 10 better than Houston. Detroit at home, 23 out of Orlando Woolridge beating Sacramento. The Clippers on the road beating Indiana in Indianapolis. San Antonio beating the Los Angeles Lakers, three late games in the NBA. College basketball fans, check it out, AP Top 25. Duke over Maryland in ACC opening play. Kansas, 30 better than Wichita State. An upset, Memphis State beats number 12 Missouri by 11. Alabama and Arkansas, the tied by a deuce. Georgia Tech, a winner in Raleigh, 80-63. An upset in ACC action, Virginia at home beating number 19 Wake Forest. Pittsburgh on the road giving Syracuse its first loss, Syracuse number 20 in the country. NC Charlotte, nine better than Virginia Tech. And UMass, number 25 in the country, falls to West Virginia. Other college basketball, Florida now 8-3, and 1-0 and zero in the SEC with a 53-52 win, beating South Carolina. On ice, Buffalo over Quebec 4-2, Montreal won better than Boston. St. Louis on the road beating the Rangers, that's a bit of an upset. And Winnipeg, three better than Edmonton, that in the second period. Some baseball signings, the California Angels and reliever Brian Harvey working out a four-year $15.5 million deal. Harvey had a league-leading 46 saves last season. The San Francisco Giants sinking outfielder Mike Felder to a one-year $600,000 deal. And Atlanta joining uh, signing journeyman Steve Lyons to a one-year deal worth $650,000. Well, a great crowd showing up at the Lee Civic Center this evening for an evening with the World Wrestling Federation. TV20's resident WWF expert Jay Severson joins me live with this report. He checks on tonight's proceedings. Bird. John, this is so special. We're going live from Edit Day One, where only Craig Stevens usually is. But a colossal evening of wrestling at the Lee Civic Center. Let's check out some of the action. More than 50 of the sport's greatest wrestlers on hand, including the young ones, striving to be world champions, and Legion of Doom fans there, the Hawkman. Hey, tonight, Ted DiBiase with the big elbow drop. It ought to be outlawed, but he comes back with the boot to the face. DiBiase, a winner. Also on the card this evening, the WWF World Tag Team Champions, Legion of Doom, Hawk and Animal, Hawk with the destructive mode there. Also, all 6'8", 315 pounds, Sid Justice on hand with the dreaded move against the ropes and the dog-like crawl. 6'8", 315, John. You know, and some people think that these guys don't get hurt. You notice that armband there. Sid had a muscle tear. He was out for almost three months, just coming back from the WWF. So, John, a great night of wrestling tonight. And everybody asking about Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair. That match probably just over. I don't know who won, but the belts were not up for grabs. The world championship is still being vacated. Jay, thank you for that report in Edit Bay 1. Yes. Ooh, what a night in sports, a huh? Night. A touching night. Yeah, only for WWF. Thanks. Right.